Hello YouTube and everybody else who isn't YouTube. <laughs> How you doing? Good? Good. Right. Well if you watched my last video, Conduit to God, and you've taken the faith or at least half an hour and tried and tested it and if you felt something, if you felt God, Brilliant. Well done. And, um, good. Because I've noticed, <clears throat> uh, there's certainly a predominant feeling about Father God. And as you can see in this diagram I've drawn here, um, the green is a person's body sitting there on the floor. The black is like your soul. Here in the core of the soul, I've written me, that's your you, that's your core. Now entrance points at the top and bottom of your soul. And at the top is where Father God will enter, where you will feel if you're feeling Father God, you'll feel it here. Now this is predominantly what, as acting as a conduit, that's predominantly what I felt, people looking for Father God. Myself included, I was having a couple of little blocks with Mother God, and it was just by being sure and redefining there is an entrance point for Mother God. Although we're in Mother God, to receive love and connections from Mother God, there's an entrance point to the soul. So if you're sitting down, it is right where your bottom is. But it's your soul feeling it. It's not your physical body feeling it. These feelings that we talk about are not a physical body. It's not a stomach rumble when you get a feeling in your stomach. It's your kind of your soul feeling. So <clears throat> So you sit there, you feel Father God. So yeah, because I think once you felt God then I no longer need to be a conduit. God takes over. That was definitely the feeling I was getting. And then I sort of thought, oh no, I'm feeling it wrong. I've got to, I've got to let them feel Mother God properly as well. And um, and then like I just got the impression, the feeling from Father God. Don't worry, I'll take it from here. It's the type of thing. So it's really cool. Yeah, quite a productive day, really, on the inside. Right, um, I want to say something about the face as well. So, because th there are there are feelings in the head. Now, before you can feel God, before God can enter. You need to get something straight. First of all would be your intellect. Now you can have feelings from God that go as far as the top of your head and no further. Now anyone can have that. But to get, to get um, if you like, down into your head, uh, and maybe it's not that because it's, it must be affected at the bottom as well. So. Maybe when just intellectualising it, you're thinking of it as a head, where is what it is, perhaps the skin of the soul. So you've got to get the intellect right. So maybe this is the top of the soul and there's this first skin. And all of that is about is your belief. What you believe. 
and many people have many different blocks. Some hate God because of this, that and the other. Um, some people just can't bring themselves to believe that something could be so perfect. So getting your belief system in order is, is necessary to allow God to, to permeate into you more. Um, the, the next area would be the throat area. And this is about humility. So you've got to be humble. Um, you know, I found myself, um, it, it's facades that get in the way here. So here really could also say, you know, we're shedding facades that we've created because we didn't want to feel embarrassed or foolish or something like that. So we, or we wanted to be tough. So we created facades. So you need to then penetrate that to eventually allow God into your heart. And so this would apply both the female and male God. Would That would be required. So when feeling mother God, you, you know, if that's the opposite sex for you, you also need to not have any or very few issues left with the opposite sex gender, because that is a major thing. And I did think at this point, oh, for a girl, for a female, is this the other way around? Is Mother God from top? I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure it isn't, because I think it would still be the same. They would feel Mother God from below, the same as us, and we'd feel Father God from above. Um, <clears throat> what I've also noticed is, in a sense, in feeling, feelings around the face, because there does seem to be more communication going on with the face. For example, I can have, I feel like Mother God is coming up like this on this ear and that eye and Father God coming down and going round on that one and into that eye and this sort of feelings to the soul sorry they are is too delicate for other spirits to do um, what other spirits are capable of is like projecting, so projecting an emotion towards you, and you sort of feel like feel that like a wash. You know, it, it, sometimes you get them on on the back. I think often back ones are often um, encouragement, and then sometimes on the front. So this sort of feeling on your soul, it's on, it's on the top part of this soul, so it is like the first bit to discover really, uh, is too intricate for spirits to, this is, this is God, right? this is um, the mother and father of our soul, the one that can guide us, and this is what happens when you start to sort of trust in your feelings, and this is the stuff that started to happen after I've been going through emotions for nine months, then finding my identity and stuff, and then, you know, start, it's starting to refine, refine it. Um, yeah, so I did sort of just blurt that out. <clears throat> but the thing to do, you know, is, is just to sort of have an understanding that uh, should should help, hopefully help, give, give you some idea. Okay, alright, thanks.